Today, we're talking about the latest version of the WiseFab S chassis rear kit. The latest version of the WiseFab rear kit for the S chassis has three major updates. The knuckle has changed, the camera arm has changed, as well as the toe arm. With the camera arm, they've added a double adjuster to the inside of the arm next to the chassis, making camber adjustment super easy on track and on the fly. The arm has also changed in design, giving a lot more clearance and strength. Now here is the largest change, their new style toe arm. So the new style toe arm is called the compression arm because it compresses under a hard hit. This prevents you from damaging the subframe or the knuckle, both pieces which are much, much more difficult to replace. All these new WiseFab products are not only designed by engineers, tested by guys on track, but also extensively tested in the lab. The knuckle has also remained primarily the same and none of the kinematics have changed. But here you can see that they've actually reinforced the portion where the toe arm mounts to the knuckle, in addition to giving you a bit of extra bump toe adjustment. Since day one, WiseFab has had two different toe arm positions on their rear knuckles. The one closer to the differential is meant for an S14 subframe, while the one closer to the wheel is meant for an S13 subframe. Now for all those guys and gals that have been running WiseFab for years, don't worry, WiseFab's thought of you as well. So the updated camber arm bolts straight into the old knuckle. No issue there. The updated toe arm has a different width heim joint. So WiseFab has come up with the spacer to be able to fit the new arm into the old knuckle. Take a look at our knuckle that we ran last season. Here you can see that the toe arm with the spacer fits right into it. One thing that is important though, is that you make sure when you mount the toe arm into the older style knuckle, that the spacer remains horizontal. This latest version from WiseFab is an example of them listening to the guys on track and responding to it. The camber arm is easier to adjust, the knuckle is stronger, and the new toe arm compresses to try to help localize damages in a rear impact. 